Hey everybody, what is going on? Welcome to another pot game tutorial video. In this video, what we're going to be working on is adding health bars to our game. So, right now we're shooting at each other, and we're, I don't know, maybe hitting each other, who knows, and even if we were hitting each other, how do we know how we were doing? So, to do this, and to kind of visualize this, we generally use something like health bars. So, that's what we're going to be adding in this, uh, in this video. So... Let us go, basically, we'll keep the game intro, and then above the game uh, loop, is so we're going to add a new function, and that function is going to be health bars. So we're going to define health underscore bars, and the parameters for health bars are going to be player health and enemy health. <clears throat> then... Um, we're just going to display the enemy's health. Uh, the idea is to have an enemy health from you know one to a hundred. That makes sense. And if you couldn't guess, generally a health bar goes you know from if you're looking at my screen, you've got a health bar and it goes down like this, right? And so it goes you know left to right anyways. So why not? You know, the health, max health is 100, so our little bar at max health will be 100 pixels wide. If the user has 88 health, it'll be 88 pixels wide, and so on. So that's easy enough. Then, what we can do is we can take that one step further, and we can actually color the health based on certain segments. So generally, when you're like full health, you're green. When you're like middle health, you're light yellow. And when you're low health, you're red. So we can also add that in. So uh, let's go ahead and do that. So first of all, how we do this, we would say, um, we'll just say if player health is greater than 75, so if it's the top 25%, basically, we would say player health, um, player health underscore color equals green. Then we would say elif player health, whoops, player health is greater than 50. Um, we will just say player health color equals yellow, and then we can just say else player health, oops, player health color equals red. We totally need to copy and paste that for enemy. So now we're going to say if enemy health is greater than 75, enemy health color equals green. I'm going to go ahead and copy this now. <laughs> And then we're going to say if, actually, L if enemy health greater than 50, enemy health color equals yellow. And then else enemy health color equals red. So here what we have is basically we're using L if to get around needing to use like greater than or equal to this and greater than or equal to this, or less than or equal to this and then greater than this. Um, so if this is the case, if the health is greater than 75, it will not go any further, it will just do green. Otherwise it will continue going. Now what we're ready to do is we're going to do, um, we're going to draw these rectangles to the screen. So let's do pygame.draw.rect. Where do we want to draw it? The game display. Um, what color do we want to draw it? Well first let's do player health color. So we'll paste in player health color. Uh, and then where do we want it? Well, we're going to do probably like, we'll do 680, oops, 680, 25, and then we'll say uh, the width is player health, as we were saying, and then height, we'll do 25. Now, let's just copy this, paste this, and then instead of enemy health color, it's enemy, or I mean player health color, it's enemy health color, and then instead of player health, it's enemy health. Um, location here, we'll do 20, and that should be good. Now all we have to do is we just have to call health bars, and then we pass through the variables. So within the game loop, at the top is where we'll define this, so we'll just say uh, we've got player health and enemy health, so we would have player health, and that what is equal to 100 and then let's take enemy health here and enemy health is equal to 100 so then um, we will come down to our actual uh, game here and 
underneath where we're like filling white is pretty much where we can put the health bar. So we can literally just call health, uh, what was it, health underscore bars, health bars. And then it was player health, enemy health. So I think I have one of them, yeah, enemy health I have uh, copied. And then player underscore health. So between uh, the fill and gun, we have health bars, player health, enemy health. So that's putting up the health bars. So let's go ahead and save it and run that. Hit play. And sure enough, we have these health bars. Now, of course, um, we don't have anything that's like, uh, like no, no one is actually getting hit here. Um, and it looks like we actually can't be hit by the enemy. Interesting. I don't know if we can hit the enemy. Because our enemy, enemy is not even moving, but... Uh... <laughs> and this is why artificial intelligence is artificial. So we might need to change the barrier height or um, the maximum like distance it can be over. But anyway, we can get to that later on. But let's close out of this. Um, the other thing I wouldn't mind doing is uh, we have a lot of spam that I wouldn't mind just shutting up. Um, I don't mind the last shell and impact stuff, but I don't think we need to print where the shell is. And so that's it with uh, this one. We can get rid of current power as well. Keep the impact there, impact there as well. And we don't need starting shells there. Okay, let's try one more time and see if we're getting all that nasty output. I just, I don't want to see it anymore. Fire, fire. Easy enough. So our debugging is a little cleaner now, so that's good. So, um, let me close out of this, close out of this. And now what we're going to work on in the next one is actually like making hits take place and that kind of stuff. And then also we'll be changing... Um, well, the hit take place, and then we can also kind of change like the how close that hit was, as opposed to like how much damage it does, that kind of stuff. Uh, so we definitely have to do that, and then we want the health bars to go down. But just to show you guys that health bars are actually going down, we could start the game uh, with the player health at 66 and enemy health at 33, and we can run that, and you can see that you know my health bar is yellow, his is red, handicap. So anyway. Uh, so yeah, we got a few more things that we definitely want to change to this game, so stay tuned for those. Uh, thanks for watching, and until next time.